of every charge in this indictment against Casey Marie Anthony. Mr. Baez, defense counsel, started his closing argument explaining what his biggest fear was in this case and that it was that you would be making decisions based on emotion. I would never ask you to do that. Co-counsel has not asked you to do that. The judge will instruct you that you cannot do that. And although this case is certainly emotionally charged, we won't ask you to make decisions about the facts of this case based on anything but the testimony that you have heard from the witnesses and all of the exhibits that you will be able to consider once you begin the job of deliberating this case. Want to know what my biggest fear is? My biggest fear, and I do not under any circumstances mean this as an insult. My biggest fear is that common sense will be lost in all the rhetoric of the case. That you won't step back and take a look at the evidence as a whole. You got to look at the big picture here. Co-counsel in his opening argument to you yesterday talked about rabbit holes. And after he sat down, my fear is that you won't look at the big picture. We spent two weeks in Clearwater questioning all of you, looking for people who would still be able to see the forest for the trees. In his closing remarks, Mr. Baez used words like liar, perjurer, fraudulent, a trial in a criminal case is supposed to be a search for the truth. The truth is what is the cornerstone of the criminal justice process, both for those who are accused and those who are the victims of crime. It is lying that perverts that process. So during an argument where the most well-documented liar ever seen in a courtroom accuses everybody of perjury, of fraud, of lying, the irony is rich indeed. Your Honor, a violation of paragraph number five of this court's order and move to strike. As we have come to find out, accusing others of lying is classic Casey Anthony. When Casey Anthony wants to divert attention away from herself, she accuses others. As we have heard from the evidence, 
Ms. Anthony has spent years lying, has spent 31 days. Mr. Baez, in his argument to you, suggested those 31 days mean nothing. A lie told convincingly is still a lie. The defendant through counsel has accused Yuri Melich Jason Forgey, Gerardo Bloise, Dr. Voss, many, many of the witnesses that have come forward in this case of being liars. In his statement, he indicated that the Orange County Sheriff's Office is desperate or was desperate in this case. And if there was anything that the individuals working for the Orange County Sheriff were, it was desperate to find a little girl. In July of 2008, whether or not she was alive or dead, the men and women of the Orange County Sheriff's Office labored for hours in an effort to find her. They were joined by the FBI, with law enforcement agencies all over the country, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, Texas EquiSearch, citizens, people who had no other motive than to find Kaylee Marie Anthony. But it was a lie. It was in, all in vain. Even the defendant's parents and her brother were searching in vain. You know, false allegations of child abduction are nothing new. And invariably, as in this case, it turns out that the perpetrator is a family member. The allegation of a false abduction diverts resources away from the perpetrator diverse attention away from the perpetrator. Your Honor, proper argument. Oh, Maroon. Find the perpetrator more time. And you will remember one of the things that Casey Anthony said to her mother when she picked her up from her boyfriend Tony's apartment was that she just wanted another day. She wanted more time. Just trying to buy time.